In the mid-1800s, hospitals were places of hope and dread. Mothers, workers, children. A cough in the dark could be a sentence. Doctors went from one body to the next without washing their hands. Death visited daily, without a name or a face. In one ward, the count climbed higher every week. One man could not accept it as fate. Ignaz Semmelweis studied the numbers and the numbers whispered a pattern. Where doctors came from autopsies, mothers died far more than where midwives worked. The link was invisible, carried on the very hands meant to heal. A simple act, he thought, could cut the chain. Wash and wash with vigor. He washed and taught others to do the same. Gentlemen, the deaths fall when we cleanse our hands. Look, this is not chance. Numbers plunged where his rules were followed. You accuse us of killing our patients with dirt. Not dirt, particles from the dead. We carry them, we must stop it. Pride bristled, tradition held the floor. Wash on entry, after examinations, after the dead, every time. His plea met a wall. Fanatic, he blames invisible vapors for everything. Journals mocked him, polite society scoffed. Please, adopt the practice, lives depend on it. Your methods are disruptive, your tone intolerable. The cost of being early is often loneliness. He lived to see his work ignored, his spirit fray, then silence. The world moved on without him. After his death, a revolution of sight began. Germs had a name, a shape, a proof. Hand washing became doctrine, and the man they mocked became the savior they needed. Simplicity can be a miracle if we listen. Lives saved by a basin and a habit. Sometimes truth arrives before the world is ready.